Welcome to the VLS Contest Series Playthrough Collection. This episode coming to you from Top Stroke Mini Golf by Mayday91283. Before we get into it, I wanted to rec recognize that the purpose of the VLS Contest Series is to give course designers from PGA Tour 2K21 a creative outlet for less serious designs than they might be used to, such as mini golf, par 3, adventure routing, and fantasy courses while still testing their skills to produce the highest quality product they can for a contest. This is not a judging playthrough, so just be aware as the course has already been judged by a trusted panel of players and designers from our game. My intention in these playthroughs is to highlight the aspects of the course that were done well, show the playability of the design, and mention a few things here and there that could have been done differently from my perspective as a fellow designer. For full details on this contest or future opportunities to enter a VLS Contest Series event, head to my website, VictoryLaneSports.com. Now, let's head to the course. So before we begin, let's take a look around the property. We're here on the first tee, but for all of these playthroughs, what I will do is rise using the PC camera. I'll rise above the plot. I'll even remove the menu for you so that we can take a nice clean look around. So for Top Stroke Mini Golf, we have a course that uh, is based on, you know, one of those driving range mini golf type facilities built in town they've become quite popular around the united states anyway unfortunately none near me where i live but a lot of work clearly was put into this environment and the thought behind it which i think is really a good opportunity in a mini golf contest when most of your golf course is going to be contained within a pretty small portion of the plot that we have available to design on. Obviously, since we're not doing 500 and 400 yard holes in a mini golf contest, typically, probably, hopefully not ever. Uh, and so there's an opportunity to develop the plot around it. Mayday has uh, used some techniques that offer a nighttime view. So it's as if we are done with work for the day. We're headed out with our family to a, driving range and mini golf facility a lot of detail put into this environment I, I would encourage everyone to just kind of look around i mean here we have traffic lights obviously lights are not in the game so those are all custom created and there's lots of things like that around this property here we have the top stroke hash uh sort of slash top golf Target ideas. Really cool there. A gas station back here. Some people filling up and getting gas at three fifty nine a gallon. I don't know how that compares around the country these days, but at the time that Mayday created this, three fifty nine was probably a relevant price. Got different businesses here. We've got a fast food restaurant even down here. People pulling around, going through the drive through being served by some very helpful employees there. I hope. It even has the street line markings and look at that. So really neat detail that uh, you guys can do on a mini golf course that you might not have the plant meter to be able to do on a full course so that's the property like i said i would encourage you to take a look around any of these courses as you go through and play them all right so again uh i'm not judging when i do these playthroughs likewise my score does not matter it's irrelevant to me what i shoot when i do these playthroughs so i might play well i might not play well it doesn't really matter. 
the judging is based off of playability, technical execution, environment, fun factor. So we'll talk about those things as we go through. But let's begin. A little par two here. Makes sense with a, a hole like this. Oh! How about that? Let's just start off with an ace, shall we? Fun factor is already pretty high. <laughs> I don't get these very often, so I think we have to let the, the highlight reel play through. Really nice environment here. I mean, it's uh, right from the get-go. You get a just a very realistic vibe. Seems like a course that you would find at any maybe uh, resort town or you're down North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida at the beach. Family wants to go out and play mini golf. I think this is very indicative of the style of, of course you might find down in that area looks like the bunkers are at least through these first couple holes they're there but they're not not really in play I think you'd have to hit a putt pretty hard to get through that rough to get it in the sand so visual effect that adds a little something without being too intrusive Okay, so here we've got uh, a par three where water is going to come into play. Clearly, if you miss off that side, it will roll down into the water here, which I have no problem with on a mini golf course. I think the creativity that these designers produce is, uh, it, you know, you don't want to muzzle that. You don't want to, in any way, stop them from trying something that might really work well. So I think putting water on a mini golf course is totally fine. Oh, did I hit that too hard? I did. So in the Dirty Angle Mafia Society, in this type of situation, we would say that you could chip this. You're not on the green. You can chip. Uh, I'm not off by very much, so I'll go ahead and try to putt it. No idea how that will produce any kind of result here, but we'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm okay with that. I try to stick to putting at all possible opportunities on these mini golf courses. I mean, that is what the intention is, right? That's a working man's par. I love on the cutscenes how it, it, you look across the property and you see the building and the things in the town around the edges. Something neat I noticed on this course that, that Mayday did is, you know, see this person back there. It's just one person. So he used the crowd feature to, to put in a crowd, but he made it very, very small. So it was just a, a single person or, you know, I think there's a couple other areas where there's two or three people. Much more realistic, obviously, than having a whole crowd of people standing there. Um, which in this environment, you just wouldn't. You wouldn't expect a whole crowd of people to be standing there. So I thought that was a good choice. Really smooth sculpting um, on this course. As we're going along, we notice that it's not a course that has walls. 
as the barriers. He's using the heavy rough as the barriers. But the sculpting seems to play in nicely with that as you go. It's not unfair. Uh, you're not constantly rolling off into the rough. But yet you do have to watch the uh, the speed, the weight that you put on your putts. Uh, as I did on the previous hole, I hit it too hard and I ended up in the rough. That was you know, that was on me. That was my fault. So lots of different styles that you can go with. You don't always have to uh, use walls. Okay, here's a bunker that does come into play. You could you could uh, hit this putt maybe too light catch the slope and then it's going to slope off into the sand in that situation i would expect you to go ahead and hit a chip or a splash um, if you're playing this course totally fine if you were to find this course on the dirty ankle mafia society that would be allowable what's not allowable is to hit a splash from here just to get over this uh, undulation in the green that's not allowable you've got to play for this Oh, I think I've hit that way too hard. Hey, there's a few people standing back there by the concession stand. Oh, I think I see a goat in the concession stand. Two of them, actually. Nice to see the dam workers actually being productive. Now here's a situation where I'm slightly blocked in my view by the tall grass. Uh, that's not something that would get points off in the judging uh, due to the fact that you do have ways to either go ahead and hit your putt anyway or use your right stick or left stick, whichever one you're using that's opposite your swing, uh, to click into different views. So uh, since I can just simply do this, if I don't like that obstructed view, uh, I have no problem with that. And I had instructed the uh, contestants that there wouldn't be any point deduction for that kind of thing. If it were every shot through 18 holes, okay, maybe that's going to be something that could have been designed better. But in this scenario, uh, it's no issue at all. One of the factors in judging mini golf courses is the par values of the playability. Does the hole give you a realistic chance at a par or a birdie if you play the hole well? Uh, so far, so good, I think, on this course. I'm two under, but the holes that I haven't played exceptionally well, I still had a chance to make par. And uh, that tells me that it wasn't... Um, you know, what you don't want to do is have everything be a par two if there's really no significant opportunity to make an ace. Uh, because what that does is it just means that every single difficult comeback putt you have is always going to be for par. And although there's nothing quote unquote wrong with that, that plays into the fun factor. Is it Does it feel fair to the player? Are they going to want to be replaying your course or do they just feel like they went through a boxing match when they got done and they shot 22 over and they have no interest in coming back so when designing a mini golf course that's something you do want to keep in in mind and so far i think the par values of this are completely fair i'm going to try to ride this slope here and see if i can get it down it looks like i didn't hit this one hard enough i probably got scared from the uh, hole with the water where I hit it too hard and went in the rough. But again, it's a par three, as I was just saying. So even that putt, although it wasn't great, I still have an opportunity to make a birdie if I hit a good putt here. And there we go. Walk away with a birdie. Feel good about it. Move it on to the next hole. Oh, okay. I think we're going to need to check to see if this water is in play. If 
if it is, I've got to watch out how hard. Hmm. Tough to move the camera around with mini golf. I apologize. It does look like there's a fairway runoff there. So, yep, that water's most definitely in play. So we'll try to use this slope in the hopes of staying away from that water. Uh, I think I'm a little nervous here. Oh, please stay left. Please stay left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Did I ever get lucky? Uh, I thought that was in the water for sure. Oh, Victor, come on. <laughs> I got lucky on the tee shot and couldn't convert it into a a birdie. That was fun, though. I like the challenge of that. Ah, oh, we got a top-tier pin. And definitely some sand if we run off to the to the right. Oh, it's a par two, though. So that indicates to me that there is an ace line here. Somewhere. Eighty-five feet uphill. Hmm. Oh, that's that's not good. Well, it's not good. Not as bad as I thought it was either. Tough comebacker though for par. A little shocked Victor made that one. Guessing pin two must be way down at the end. Strategy here would be not to overhit this. Hmm. Almost wondering if I want to use this side here or not. Got scared of it. I've hit the last few putts too hard. I didn't want to, didn't want to end up all the way down there. So I got scared of it. Yikes! I don't think that was a very good par. Too tentative on my first putt. Beautiful view off this tee here. Love that waterfall feature. Definitely something you would see at a facility like this. Got some speed problems. Sure wish Victor could putt like this on 
TGC Tours. All right, so, and by the way, if I see anybody splash or flop this kind of shot on the Dirty Ankle Mafia Society, you are disqualified from the event. You must putt this. Don't be a chicken. Difficult hole here. Par three, though. So I'm sure the, the par seems totally fair, but... Difficult putt. I'm guessing go right to get left, go left to get right on the on the uh, tee shot here. So we'll go right since the pin is on the left. And hope for the best. Oh, that was fun. Could have hit it a little harder. But that was a fun shot. I like that hole. Okay. Challenging. So again, as we look at these courses in these types of uh, playthroughs, I'm not here to judge. You know, I'm here to play through, give you some comments here and there. But our judges are looking at those par values. Is there variety and flow through the golf course? Is the sculpting nice? Is it smooth? I mean, these are putting greens the, the entire time. So is the putting smooth? Does the ball roll nicely? If there's any object usage, uh, is that placed appropriately? This course here, there's really no object usage used uh, for the uh, strategy portion of the, of the mini golf. Um, nope. Again, no points taken off for that. It's that's not the style he was going for here. He wasn't going for the the windmill and clown's mouth type of uh, vibe here. So there's no points taken off for not having objects used in that in that way. But if objects are used on courses, I'm gonna look at do they make sense? Matter of fact, you know, in that in that same vein, if there were just a random windmill on one of these holes, you'd say, well, that doesn't make any sense for the theme of the golf course. So with that, you know, the environment, you're looking at the planting, the aesthetics, the theme. Does everything kind of jive together to, to form a whole picture of what, ooh, nice, of what the designer was, was really going for? So far, I think on this one, it would be hard to argue that it's not very consistent throughout. Is it fun and challenging? Would you replay the golf course after you're done? That's a big deal to me, I think, on, on many golf courses. I, I play them a lot because I tend to enjoy them on this game. But if you go out here and you have a terrible time and you say, I'm never going to play that again, well, that course shouldn't probably score real well in the judging. I'm kind of surprised how close I was to an ace on that one. Ah, here we're going to test the straightness. Can you hit a straight putt? through the valley if your speed is wrong you're going in the bunker left or right if you're not straight you're going in there left or right yeah, I'll take that at least I'm not in the bunker Definitely a par two. There was an ace run there for sure. So no issues with that one being a par two. All 
Ah, this one's a par two. Hmm. Ace line somewhere. Oh, well, because I had the line way too hard, but kind of glad it hit the stick. I don't think I would have ever made par if that didn't hit the flag. Love that stone path there. You know, it's little details like that that really excite me. Think about it. If you're playing this course, you know, in real life, your family is sitting over here on the bench. You're taking your shot. After you all hit, that little path gives you an opportunity to walk down to the bottom of the hole without having to walk down this entire curve of a, of a green portion here. That really just makes a lot of sense. It's neat. Oh, no. I did it again, didn't I? Oh, not too. I thought I hit it in the rough up on the top of the curve again, like I did on that fourth hole. Well, that's not bad. Interesting that that one's a par three. But the hole before it where I slammed it off the pin, that one... I don't know. Maybe this one feels like a two is a lot more likely than that other one. I'd have to play it more and more to really get a good, good sense for that, though. A little speed putt here for... For the ace, maybe? Hmm. A couple different lines maybe you could take on this. I'm going to try it over here. No, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Way too far to the right now. Pretty happy with the par after that terrible tee shot. Love the patio sitting area. I mean, you probably get a little ice cream or hot dog after the round. Your family talks about who, if you're anything like mine, sit there and talk about who won and loving it though. As my kids get older, my wife is is uh, good at mini golf, and so as my kids get older, it's like dad's not guaranteed to win every time now. Or vacation this year. We had some pretty close calls for old dad. Oh, I hit it too hard. Looks like we'll be putting from the rough. Uh. HB. I was definitely in the rough originally. Not sure what happened here. I'll take it. Nice finishing hole. Get a good look at the fountain. Good look at the patio. I enjoyed that. I thought that was a really enjoyable course. A lot of strategy. I think your score would get better and better the more you played that one due to the fact that it's not relying on object usage and bouncing off of this and that. And, you know, it's really relying heavily on good putting, getting the, the proper distance control, the proper line. So I thought that one was very interesting.
And uh, great job by Mayday91283 on Top Stroke Mini Golf. So make sure you do go out and play that one. Enjoyed it very much. And Mayday, good luck in the contest. Results will come on November 15th, at which point these videos will, that date will be in the past. But hopefully you head over to VictoryLaneSports.com and see who won the VLS Contest Series Mini Golf Madness. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on another playthrough for the VLS Contest Series.